These two prophetic encouragements are from Nate Johnston and were published this March 2024. A Word for the Remnant You Have Been Set Apart for the Guard Change, published on March 9, 2024. This is a word for the remnant who have been set apart for many years and still have little understanding of. Why you have been set apart. Why you have been rejected and do not fit the current box. Why you are carrying blueprints in language that doesn't have a place to land yet. In fact, even in what many are calling the new wineskin, you have felt displaced and like you still don't fit. Many of you have been discouraged because you have been waiting for a moment to belong and finally find your kinsmen who carry the same heart and DNA as you. Lord, where are the other remnant? You have cried out. It has felt like you have entered into 2024 feeling like God is even further separating you from the pack. Set apart again? Really? Yes. We have entered into season where God is sifting even His remnant to ready us for the years to come. For even at the tables of the new breed, there has been compromise, mixture, and old wine dressed up as new gourds, and the Lord is protecting you from that. Does this mean you will be isolated again? No. For this is a season where God is rallying and banding the remnant together. They will come out of their wildernesses and find those who will not bow to the faux wine movements. It may be a season of greater separation from the old order and the pure, but this time, you will not do it alone. This will be a season where God is dividing the sheep from the goats, but the sheep won't be alone anymore. You will find your true herd again. The new guard is being appointed. I woke up at 2.12 a.m. a few nights ago and felt to look up the book of Micah. I will surely assemble all of you, O Jacob. I will gather the remnant of Israel. I will set them together like sheep in a fold, like a flock in its pasture, a noisy multitude of men Micah 2 verse 12. This was the Lord saying these clear points to us. Number one, he is assembling and gathering us, bringing us together as one herd. Number two, we will be a loud voice like a noisy multitude. Number three, two represents the prophetic house he is building and the division of true and false, old and new. Number four, twelve represents government and the kingdom God is building. Then I heard the Lord say, I am right now choosing my cabinet for the years to come. But don't look to those who look the part, sound the part, and have the credentials, for they did that with Saul, but I will not allow another era of man's government, for I am right now establishing my kingdom built upon the house of David. Right now we are in a time where God is calling and appointing His movers and shakers for the days to come. He is standing down those who have not stewarded their role well or have been sold out for earthly rewards. He is revealing the cracks in the pavement and bringing in a people who will repair them and build the new thing. And remnant, He is choosing you for this. This is why you have been set apart, and God would not allow you to sit at those tables. This is why He kept you in the fire over and over because it was not only the safest place to be, but also the place where you would be readied for the summoning to the palace like Joseph. A Samuel Moment Then the Lord said to me, Tell them that this is a Samuel moment where I call upon them and anoint them for a new post and role. And like Samuel, who was born into a time of compromise and where the word of the Lord was scarce, the remnant is being commissioned in an hour where the enemy has tainted the ointment, and they will restore the priesthood and the purity of the prophetic office once again. So, remnant, Get ready for dreams. Get ready to be awakened in the night hours as the glory of the Lord visits you, and His voice stands you to your feet. May your response be, Speak Lord for your servant is listening. The Tables Are Turning, published on March 12, 2024.
I was laying my youngest daughter to bed last night I heard, tables are about to turn quickly. But as I heard that, I saw a short vision, not of a table but wheels and cogs moving in the spirit. I knew I was seeing what I believed to be the Lord speeding up time but more importantly, speeding up His plans. This spoke to me that we were stepping into a Kairos time of rapid turnaround in some specific areas that are both personal and global. It felt like a heads up that in the midst of so much shaking in the enemy's fear and propaganda in the earth God was about to show himself strong. So, as I was writing this down, the Lord spoke into these four areas I want to prophesy and highlight for you. The Table of Old Methods and Mixture So he made a whip out of cords, and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables John 2 verse 15. I heard the Lord say, I am turning the tables of my church who have made it into something it isn't meant to be. For this will be a season that I am going to quickly reset the tables where compromise and mixture have been allowed to sit at for too long. I am going to overturn the old systems and methods and bring them into a fresh slate season where they will have to navigate the unknown and lean on my spirit again to move forward. Rapid changes are coming to the church. God is going to turn over so many of the man-made methods that the modern church has been built upon for the sake of cleaning off the tables that have been in compromise and bringing her back to her first love. This means that we will see a rapid shift in this area this year and beyond, where many churches will suddenly feel like the old things are no longer working and that God is breaking them out of outdated methods. It's surrender or fizzle season for the church. The Table of Rejection and Intimidation I heard the Lord say, for I have been leading you through a season of leaving the wrong tables you have been sitting at that has not only been impairing and disabling you but it's been silencing you in your calling. But now it's time to not only leave those tables but to break ties with the spirit of rejection and intimidation that has been oppressing you. It's time to leave the proximity of those who keep hurling insults and demonic chatter at you out of jealousy and insecurity. You were not created to sit and eat the scraps from under the tables of religion but to walk away and sit at the table I have set for you. And in this season you will leave those places and know your place at my table once again. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows Psalms 23 verse 5. The Table of the Bad Report I heard. I am turning the tables of the bad reports where the enemy has been broadcasting his fear-mongering lies over your future and current circumstances. His propaganda has been consumed by the Word and even the church where it has now been accepted and many have forgotten what my good news sounds like. But I am going to begin to expose and dismantle his lies and remind my church what good news sounds like. For in the swirl many have forgotten my promises and in the resistance of red tape and delay many have broken away from hope and lost faith in who I am, but as I overturn the bad report both personally and globally you will once again know me as faithful God and promise keeper. And even now I am overturning what has been coming against you. I am overturning that bad report that has shattered your hope. I am turning around that situation that has looked bleak and revealing my goodness to your weary heart. Get ready for the good report. The Table of World Government Then I heard the Lord say, I am turning over the tables of world governments and it will seem like overnight whole nations shift and begin a new chapter. For I have seen the tables where evil and bloodshed is not only tolerated but it is celebrated. Tables where power is a drug to those wanting to control because they have let the enemy possess them tables where injustice is called justice and death is called life and wrong called right. And I have seen their plans to annihilate my people and become gods to rule the earth. But like Haman, their plans will not prosper for I am overturning their banquet table and their table of blood sacrifice. 
So the king and Haman went to Queen Esther's banquet, and as they were drinking wine on the second day, the king again asked, Queen Esther, what is your petition? It will be given you. What is your request? Even up to half the kingdom, it will be granted. Then Queen Esther answered, If I have found favor with you, your majesty, and if it pleases you, grant me my life, this is my petition. And spare my people, this is my request. For I and my people have been sold to be destroyed, killed, and annihilated. If we had merely been sold as male and female slaves, I would have kept quiet because no such distress would justify disturbing the king. King Xerxes asked Queen Esther, Who is he? Where is he, the man who has dared to do such a thing? Esther said, An adversary and enemy. This vile Haman. Esther 7 verses 1 to 6. She hold the keys. And lastly, as I was writing this down, I kept thinking of Proverbs 31 verse 19. She stretches out her hands to help the needy and she lays hold of the wheels of government. I believe we are entering a season where Number 1 The church is rising up with authority to bring things into order, remembering her authority. Number 2 The Esthers or women in the earth are being summoned by the Lord as a special force and weapon in His hand to turn tables and shift the tide of major events in the earth. Just as Esther called a banquet to expose Haman, God is giving Esther's a special authority to overturn and set tables for the sake of nations. This is a pray, fast, stand year. As we do those things the wheels turn, the tables turn, and God gets the glory. Here are some verses for these words. Matthew 21 verses 12 to 17 from the Amplified Bible. Cleansing the Temple And Jesus entered the temple grounds and drove out with force all who were buying and selling birds and animals for sacrifice in the temple area, and he turned over the tables of the money changers who made a profit exchanging foreign money for temple coinage and the chairs of those who were selling doves for sacrifice. Jesus said to them, It is written in Scripture, My house shall be called a house of prayer but you are making it a robber's den. And the blind and the lame came to him in the porticos and courts of the temple area, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful and miraculous things that Jesus had done, and heard the boys who were shouting in the porticos and courts of the temple in praise and adoration, Hosanna to the Son of David the Messiah, they became indignant and they said to him, Do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus replied to them, Yes. Have you never read in the Scripture, Out of the mouths of infants and nursing babies you have prepared and provided praise for yourself? Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany, and spent the night there. Esther 2 verses 17-18 to from the Amplified Bible Now the king loved Esther more than all the other women and she found favor and kindness with him more than all the other virgins, so that he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen in the place of Vashti. Then the king held a great banquet, Esther's banquet, for all his officials and his servants. And he made a festival for the provinces and gave gifts in accordance with the resources of the king. Isaiah 9 verse 7 from the Amplified Bible there shall be no end to the increase of his government and of peace. He shall rule on the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from that time forward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. Colossians 1 verses 18-23 from the Amplified Bible He is also the head, the life source, and leader of the body the church. And he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he himself will occupy the first place he will stand supreme and be preeminent in everything.
for it pleased the Father for all the fullness of deity, the sum total of his essence, all his perfection, powers, and attributes to dwell permanently in him the Son, and through the intervention of the Son to reconcile all things to himself, making peace with believers through the blood of his cross. Through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven, and although you were at one time estranged and alienated and hostile-minded toward him, participating in evil things, yet Christ has now reconciled you to God in his physical body through death, in order to present you before the Father holy and blameless and beyond reproach, and he will do this if you continue in the faith, well-grounded and steadfast, and not shifting away from the confident hope that is a result of the gospel that you have heard, which was proclaimed in all creation, under heaven, and of which gospel I, Paul, was made a minister. 1 Samuel 3 verses 9-15 from the Amplified Bible So Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be that if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Then the Lord came and stood and called as at the previous times, Samuel. Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. The Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel at which both ears of everyone who hears it will ring. On that day I will carry out against Eli everything that I have spoken concerning his house family, from beginning to end. Now I have told him that I am about to judge his house forever for the sinful behavior which he knew was happening, because his sons were bringing a curse on themselves dishonoring and blaspheming God and he did not rebuke them. Therefore I have sworn to the house of Eli that the sinful behavior of Eli's house family shall not be atoned for by sacrifice or offering forever. So Samuel lay down until morning. Then he opened the doors of the Lord's house. But Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. Here's a pray along video for these words. Heavenly Father, you are my Almighty all-powerful, all-loving Father. There shall be no end to the increase of your government and of peace. Your kingdom will be established and upheld with justice and righteousness from this time forward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. As you sound the call of the remnant, let me hear your call again and know that it is you. Let me hear the sound of your call again, and help me say again, Speak for your servant is listening. Help and strengthen me to stand with you as you shake and overturn the tables. And help me to be an efficient functioning remnant as part of your body, as Jesus leads the way to the coming time when the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of you, as the waters cover the sea, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Gathering with Lou Engel and Nate and Christy Johnston Come join us on Good Friday, March 29th, for the gathering of God's fiery remnant. It will be a night of the presence, prophecy, prayer, and communion. See you there. Click the links available above and in the description box below to register. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co.